This is how I got a Nintendo 64, 10 games, and a bunch of accessories for absolutely free. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Super Gaming Minute, the channel dedicated to all things Nintendo and gaming. I got a cool video for you guys today. Basically, it's a story of how I got a Nintendo 64, a bunch of games and a bunch of accessories for absolutely free. So I work as a leasing agent. I lease apartments for a living. Um, I used to go to brand new builds, lease them up, and then move on to the next one kind of thing. Um, I did that in Vancouver Island and from Vancouver Island I got transferred over to Calgary to, to do the same thing. Since then I've left companies because I don't want to keep moving around doing the same work though. But anyway, I digress. One of the last buildings I was doing in Nanaimo, there was an elderly lady that came in here. She was recently retired and she's going through a hard time. Basically what happened was her husband was uh, cheating on her. It's a very sad story. Her husband was cheating on her. Uh, she was moving out of the house that she raised her kids in and had all these memories in into uh, an apartment basically by herself. Again, it was a super sad story and I felt, you know, compelled to help this woman find a new place to live. There was one issue though. These are premium luxury buildings that I was leasing and you need to have a good credit score and you need to have a good income to be accepted into these, uh, these suites, this building. And because she was recently divorced or going through separation, I should say, and uh, she's never worked because she's always stayed at home with her kids, she didn't have an income and she didn't have um, really a credit score at all because her husband took care of everything. Long story short, we basically found a way to get her in there. I was able to convince my bosses to get her in and she was extremely grateful for my help. Now basically how the Nintendo 64 came up is that I had a Nintendo 64 plugged into the TV in our show suite. For whenever I got bored, myself and my teammate would just you know, play video games, play GoldenEye, that kind of thing. And then she saw it there and she's like, hey, you have a Nintendo 64. I said, yeah, I'm a big Nintendo guy. Um, I have a lot of different consoles. I collect video games, that kind of thing. Her son was actually looking to sell a Nintendo 64 and a bunch of games. And she wasn't sure if it worked. She wasn't sure how much money he wanted from it. So what happened was she went home she got her son to take some pictures and then send them to me. And then based on what was there, I would give a value. Um, There's some good stuff there, which I'm gonna go over with you guys uh, shortly here, but um, it was probably worth two to $300. And I said that I didn't really wanna fork up that much money uh, out of pocket, but I would probably do maybe 150, 160, $200. I think it was $200 was the max. Um, and he agreed to it, so it was great. So she was supposed to come in the next day, and uh, she did. She came with bags of stuff. So I went through it, and yeah, there's a, a lot of stuff in the bag. All the stuff that was in the pictures. So after she brought everything into the suite, her son came in, and he basically came in just to say how grateful he was that I was able to help his mom out. Um, help her find a place to live and allow her to start her new life. And in doing so, he said that I could have all this stuff for free, which I thought was really generous. You know, I told him, listen, I can pay you some money if you want me to pay you some money. And he said, no, you already did enough. You helped my mom. You're fantastic. She won't stop talking about you, which made me feel really, really good. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, so... I want to quickly go over all the stuff that I got from her to show you guys and then uh, get your thoughts in the comment section down below. Okay, here we go. So as I mentioned guys, uh, it was a console, 10 games and a bunch of accessories. So first things up is it was the original black N64. Nothing special, right? You know, the original one. Works great, no issues at all. Um, and it had the expansion pack in it as well, which was, you know, icing on the cake. So I can't go wrong with that. I can't be upset about that. Um, again, awesome. So that. The next thing I got was four controllers. Two gray ones, one blue one, and one atomic purple. So unfortunately, I can't show you the gray ones because I did end up selling those ones because I didn't need them already have gray and 64 controllers. But I did end up keeping the blue one and the atomic purple. Now, when it comes to controllers, these are in really good shape. And it's funny because she told me that she wasn't sure if they would work and they work amazing. Now the blue one, as you see right here, um, is the one that's in, I guess, the worst shape. 
Um, cord's fine, there's no crinkles in the cord. I mean, the buttons all push really, really good. The only problem is that the stick is probably an eight out of 10. You can see a bit of wiggle there. I don't know if it's focusing, but you know, a bit of wiggle. Um, now, when she gave me this bundle, I was actually looking for a new Atomic Purple controller because the one that I had was not very good. The stick was bad and just, it, you know, didn't feel good. Um, this one here though, take a quick look. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this one here feels like it's never been used. I mean, the stick is a legitimate 10 out of 10. There's no wiggle at all on that stick. It's brand new. Um, and you know, when you hold a new controller, it feels a little bit more grippy. Am I alone in that? I mean, I feel like when you use a controller, it starts to kind of wear down, it starts to smoothen out, and you can really feel that on the controller. Maybe I'm crazy, but that's just how I feel about it. And this one feels like it's never been used. This is like a brand new controller. So I was very happy to get this one again, because it's the one that I was kind of looking for. Um, this Atomic Purple is the most nostalgic for me. So if anybody's got Atomic Purples, I, I love them. <laughs> Um, now, so that's all the accessories. Um, so the console itself, of course, the expansion pack, and then the four controllers. Um, so the first thing here, guys, um, it's a filler title. It is FIFA Soccer 64. Didn't have it, because again, never really needed to get it. It wasn't really one that I was sourcing. So, um, but again, happy to have it in my collection. Second game, now this game brings back, you know, a ton of memories. Played this a game a lot as a kid, and uh, funny, I've had this now for a year and a half, maybe two years when I got these things, and I still haven't plugged it in. Um, but it's NFL Blitz. Awesome game. I should really plug it in. It's amazing. Now this third game also could be considered filler, but it is a really good game. I know a lot of people love the game too, and that is Wave Race. Awesome game, as I mentioned. Um, the label's a little bit beaten up, as you can kind of see there, but I mean, what are you gonna do? Thing is uh, older than, it's old. Um, the next one is one of the heavy hitters in the list here, and that is Mario Party 2. Now, I'm not gonna do a value of everything, guys, because I don't think that's really the point of the video, but you can probably uh, check the, the values for yourself. I mean, all this added up, it adds up to quite um, a pretty penny, so. Next up is Mario Party 1. Now, the Mario Party games on the 64 obviously pioneered the franchise. I mean, the first one was such a hit that they did, what, 11, 12 more now? Uh, they're great games. This one is a little bit you know, hard to go back to just because of the, you know, the, the joystick rub, the joystick burn, I should say. Um, you know, it kind of leaves some, some scars. Next up is Mario Kart 64. Another great title, not a super um, expensive one to get your hands on, but you know, a great title nonetheless. I mean, I don't think an N64 collection is complete without Mario Kart 64. A lot of people think this is the best one in the series so far, and it was the second one that came out. All right, next up is another filler title, and that is Madden 2002. I don't really have any uh, desire to play this one. I've never played uh, a Madden game on N64. I think the first and only time I played it was on Xbox 360, and you know, it's Madden. I live in Canada, I'm an NHL kind of guy. Um, next up, now I already had a copy of this, as you could probably imagine, because I think, again, every N64 collection needs to have this game, but that is uh, GoldenEye 007. Now it's funny, I mean, this is, it's a $50 game now, 40 to $50 anyway, and um, again, it's just nice to have this in the collection. I mean, it spawned a generation of games, uh, it spawned a generation of gamers as well, I mean, it's one of the very first uh, multiplayer first-person shooters, and I mean, we owe a lot to this game, and I'm just so happy that I have it. I'm so happy that it's on uh, Game Pass because the controls, oh, the controls are so much better. All right, another heavy hitter. Um, man, I got some good games out of this, <laughs> and that is Super Smash Bros. 
you know, I mean, I don't really have to say anything about that it's Super Smash Bros, right? Um, the first one in the series, um, it's a fantastic game. You all played this before, if you haven't, get on it, it's fantastic. Now, last but definitely not least, maybe one of the greatest N64 games, if not the greatest, and that, of course, is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, it's not the gold cart, which makes me sad, but um, what are you gonna do? It was literally free. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's Ocarina of Time. I mean, to find this in that list of games that she just brought me in is, you know, fantastic. And I can't tell you guys how grateful I am that uh, they were that thoughtful and, and, you know, thought that they would just give it to me for free for basically nothing, for doing my job. And it feels good to know that I was able to help somebody out and they were very appreciative about it, so. All right, guys, and that is the story of how I got a uh, Nintendo 64, 10 games, and a bunch of accessories for absolutely nothing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, make sure to subscribe to Super Gaming Minute. We release one to two new videos every single week. And don't forget to comment down below what your favorite game on the N64 is. And as always, keep on gaming.